Hey everyone, I'm Pat Mayo, back again, talking pitchers that'll be starting in different ballparks in 2013. I've already declared both Dan Heron and Zach Greinke great values at their current draft position. But the rest? Meh. It's a mixed bag. Los Angeles, Tampa Bay, Detroit, Arizona, Chicago, St. Louis, Washington, Toronto, and now, Chicago again. But this time on the north side. That's nine teams in ten years for Edwin Jackson. Hopefully, he secured some sort of moving clause in his contract this time around. Although, this stop at the Cubs should persist for more than one season. Jackson's been a quality back-end fantasy starter for some time now. The last three years, he's averaging almost 200 innings, 32 starts, and 7.5 and strikeouts per nine, while decreasing his walk rate each of the last five seasons. He'll never be an elite starter, but he's a workhorse that can stabilize your ratios for little cost. Who is the real Ryan Dempster? The Cubs hurler that posted a 194 ERA? Or the guy that couldn't consistently make it through three innings in Texas? The answer? Probably somewhere in between. Dempster was incredibly unlucky during his time in the Lone Star State, but Boston's actually a worse fit for the righty. Fenway rated as a better hitter's park in 2012 than Arlington, and he won't have the benefit of a great lineup to protect him. But the AL East isn't as fearsome as it's been in past years. We watch former NL punching bags Hiroki Kuroda and Jason Hamill come over and have success, and Dempster has better stuff than the both of them combined. Still, he's a stay away for me. Brandon McCarthy benefited from the spacey confines in Oakland, but a massive drop off in the stats shouldn't be a given. McCarthy perfected his control in his time with the A's, leading him to outperform his expected ERA the last two seasons. Will that translate to his new gig in Arizona? Tough to say. But since he's currently the 65th starter coming on the board, he's a low-risk investment to find out. McCarthy has top 30 upside of the position, and moving from the AL to the NL may actually keep his numbers around his two-year average. You want to talk gambles? Then say hello to Scott Baker. Baker missed all of 2012 with Tommy John surgery, but was highly effective in 2011 before the injury, posting a 3.14 ERA and fanning over eight batters per nine innings borderline elite fantasy numbers. There is an issue though. Baker is an extreme fly ball pitcher, and Target Field keeps a lot more of those in the park than Wrigley, and he was already giving up more than a home run per start with the Twins, so tread carefully. That's all for now, but remember, subscribe to the Roto Experts Fantasy Baseball Draft Kit if you're serious about winning your fantasy league. Full rankings, sleepers, busts, and everything else you can think of. So go do that now. Until next time, I'm Pat Mayo.